and create Google Tag Manager account and connect to with your Shopify website. And then I'll show how can we enable e-commerce data layer. So to create Google Tag Manager account, we have to go to tagmanager.google.com. We have to click in here, create account. And then write in here your uh, account name. For example, I write in here, I'm waiting. And then choose from here your account county and then and then write in here your container name so in this case like my container name is I'm consult web and choose from here web and then click in here create and click in uh, accept with google terms and condition and then click in here yes so now we successfully create a google tag manager web container so now it's time to uh, time to connect google tag manager container with our website so to connect google tag manager with our website shopify website we have to copy this uh head section code if you follow this uh step you can easily understand and you can connect google tag manager with any website like if you have others in the cms you can easily add this so in this case i'll focus on i am focused on just only shopify so just click in here and automatically copy this code in your clipboard and go to shopify store admin section in your store and then click in here uh, online store okay and in you you can see in here your theme so click in here three dot and edit code and now okay so now what google says which is we have to paste this code in our research head section so to add in shopify research head section we have to go to theme.liquid file and here you can see the head section in here so i just paste this code in here and we have to add another another code which is for body just copy this code and if i scroll down and here you can see the body section so like i just add this code in here so that's it and we have we add the google tag manager code in head section we add the google tag manager code in body section so now it's time to save this so let's see google tag manager with our website properly connected or not so for this we have to go to our website and copy our reset url and then we have to go to google tag manager and then click in here preview and here we have to paste our website url and then click in here connect so now you can see our website is open and here you can see the tag assistant connected and if we go to here you can see all of this event and you can see in here the connector so that's when google tag manager with our website is properly connected so if i like see any product and go in here here you can not, here you not see any event like view item and if i also add to cart so here you not see like any add to cart event so right now google tag manager with our website is connected and we need to now enable e-commerce data layer to set up our tracking like uh, google analytics 4 uh, and also like google Ads conversion tracking facebook pixel whatever so to enable data layer we have to um, go, go to our website settings click on here settings and the old method which is enable data layer is uh, check out page additional script under but in august 2025 so if i duplicate this checkout press additional script so the new option is we have to use um, if i scroll down you can see in here we have to use customer events so now i'll show how can we enable the data layer based on shopify new update so click in here customer event or you can directly go in here the customer event and here is see nothing right now so we have to click in here add custom pixel just click in here and write in here the custom pixel name for example add in here uh, yt for example you can write in here anything like this for you remember and then click in here permission not required and data cell click in here data collected does not quali qualify as data cell and then here we have to add this code to enable data layer 
So the detail layer was created by Rahi Masum Reja and all credits goes to him. And here is her LinkedIn profile and I truly appreciate him to create this level of uh, data layer. So if you are looking someone who can implement data layer in your website and also set up conversion tracking across all platforms, for example, Google Ads conversion tracking, Google Ads dynamic remarketing tech setup, Google Analytics for server tracking, Facebook Fixel and conversion API, TikTok Fixel, whatever, you can reach out to me by a video description and you can book a call with me and you can, if it's urgent, you can all directly message me on WhatsApp. And here, see, if you want to learn more about me, you can visit my website and I can help you with that. So let's back to the video again. And here's the code, just I have to click in here, copy and paste. Okay. So probably paste it. So now what we need to do, which is we have to replace this Google Tag Manager ID with our original Google Tag Manager container ID. So you just go to Google Tag Manager. Here you can see the Google Tag Manager container ID. So you can directly copy from here, but as well as you can just click on here and you can copy this ID from here. And go to Shopify again and replace this code with your actual Google Tag Manager ID. And here is C3 option, which is like tracking platform. So by default, with this data layer, automatically enable data layer for according to GA4 schema. So if you want to also enable data layer for Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, so you can just write in here the tracking platform name and it will automatically enable data layer for also as well as two platform. So like uh, when you right in here this platform name it's automatically right but if you want to like only just only like enable a specific platform then remove other platform name from here and then so google tag manager uh sorry in shopify everything is done so we have to just click in here save and make sure you also connect this pixel so to connect this pixel uh, customer event without shopify store you have to click in here connect and click in here connect again Okay, so it's properly connected. So now it's time to check all of this data properly sent or not. Okay, so I just view this product in here and here you can see view item event properly passed in here. And if I click in here data layer and we can see also the data layer and also data layer enable for Pinterest, data layer enable for Snapchat specific and also data enable for facebook specifically so for bi team we can see all of this data in data layer available and if i now like add to cut a product and yeah here you can see add to cut even data layer and if i like now click on here view card so here you can see view card even data layer as well as now for example if i add another product here you see here we should see now another add to cut event because yeah you can see in here properly this event also passed and then finally if i remove from here any product and you can see in here another event which is removed from cart and if i like now click in here checkout and here you can see okay if i like reload this again so here you can see the begin checkout event and finally if i add in here the address here we should now see add shipping info yeah we, you can see in here also check out address info submitted event and finally if i like purchase a product Pay now. And here finally successfully purchase event. I mean, here we successfully purchase a product. And if we now check on here, we can see properly the participant also 
push in our data layer and participant with all of this necessary data like you can see the e-commerce all of this data like currency value tax coupon shipping transition id items area in the items area all of these items uh, information and also specifically enable data layer for pinterest also for snapchat also for facebook and also with the participant you can see the customer edges like in here you can see the email phone number customer address and customer city country country code first name last name phone number state and also state code gif code so you can easily send this data in google when you set up google Ads enhanced conversion tracking and also you can send this data on facebook to increase facebook even much quality so that is that is the way how can you we enable and how can we create google tag manager account and how can we um, add the google tag manager i mean connect this google tag manager with our Shopify website and then finally how can we enable data layer to set up our analytics and marketing platform in our website so if you want to learn more about like how can we implement uh, the conversion tracking for example google ads conversion tracking google and for services tracking google ads dynamic getting tax setup you can check my others video so you know this is complex setup and if you want to hire someone who can set up for you all of these things and you can uh, you can message me i can help you with that you can just go to check the video description here is find my contract details and then you can like book a call with me or directly message me on whatsapp if it's urgent and here you can see about me and if you want to see some free tutorials then just click on here and then yeah if you want to visit my website to learn more about me and check out my easily you can check out my website so thanks for your time and yep and hope this video helpful